2019 from Diesel Pump UK. We're still giving it away. We haven't given it away yet because we've been really, really busy building these crate engines for the G wagons. Um, and you can see there's a lot of bits there, and you know we haven't had much time to do anything else. So we're basically finished doing that, and now we're back on to getting you guys excited about winning this 400 horsepower monster. Now, why would you want to win this? Not 60 in five seconds, probably less if you put some drag tires on. 180 mile an hour top speeds, 40 miles per gallon motorway cruising. It's a true seven seat, what would we call it? I was gonna say drift car, but I would, I would rather use the word weapon. It's a true seven seat weapon. This is the type of car you can drive to work, you can take it on tracks. I wouldn't say like an actual track car, but drag, yes, drift, yes. Track, maybe with the right tyres, maybe with some suspension mods, maybe with some brakes. Maybe not track, but drag, drift, excellent. Um, imagine picking up one of your friends or your family in this old boring diesel, and then that screamer pipe roars as it literally unleashes 400 horsepower through that ridiculously good quake diff. They're just going to be like totally shocked whilst sat in a heated seat. Win-win. If you were wondering what a build like this costs, considering the LSD, the custom gearbox conversion, the custom cooling package, uh, the turbo kit, which is all, you know, it's got a six branch manifold and the billet bog on a turbo, turbo smart wastegate. Uh, it's got a whole host of top of the range components. It isn't just a cobbled together piece that you're gonna find, you know, that people make cobble together. This is a truly, we've used parts that are tried and tested and work well. The only weak link in this car, which everybody knows and has seen probably many, many times before, is its rear drive shafts. With those really grippy tires and that kind of torque, if you try and unleash it in third gear, drive shafts unfortunately snap. And that's just a part of life. You get really good at changing them after a while. There are better options out there. You can get upgraded ones. We just haven't got a good supplier for them yet. So we just use standard one after standard one. Uh, and that seems to work for us. Um, another setback which you might be bothered about, you might not. The driver's side electric window, that doesn't really work. I think it's actually held up inside with a piece of wood. So that's gonna present the problem of McDonald's. So if you're ever gonna go through the McDonald's drive through make sure you've got someone in the back to take your order. Um, and to be fair, if you're driving a car like this, you could just pretend you were a chauffeur anyway, and you had Simon Cowell in the back. So uh, for McDonald's drive throughs remember Simon Cowell in the back. Uh, have a great Christmas, guys, and good luck. Win this, and stay safe in it.